What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and if you are finding me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. This video is a quick roundup as to all the bits that I bought on this particular Saturday car boot, which was supposed to start at seven. So I had a nice half an hour laying, uh, got to the car boot at half six. I was gonna pitch up, turn the music on and just chill out for a good 15 minutes. Just as I pulled in, they let all the buyers in half an hour early but from what i could gather it didn't make much of a difference it wasn't a great deal down uh, but filled up there was a few bits i picked up mainly bits for myself uh in fact like 99 percent of what i picked up is for myself and only a few bits to sell on however yeah it's stuff as well that i've got to hang on to until the fourth quarter but this is what we picked up we have a bop it i paid I think I paid one pound fifty. One pound fifty. The lady was adamant two pound. I said one pound, and then she said, "Did you say two pound?" I said, "No, I said one pound." So backwards and forwards for a bit. <coughs> paid one pound fifty, and it just kept going off in my bag as I was walking. It was just doing the death sound because it was starting up and then dying, and then starting up and then dying. So yeah, one pound fifty. On the theme of boppets, we have a boppet extreme two, but this one is in pink. I paid £4.50. Now, I didn't really want to buy it to begin with, but it's a good, easy, at this time of year, you're looking at around £15 plus postage. So there's at least £10 to be made. However, I'm just hoarding boppets until the fourth quarter. I think I've got three Extreme 2s and now this pink version as well. So yeah, I've got to go through, test them all and remove all batteries. R2-D2 cost me five pounds. He works absolutely fine. He's on try me, let's just put it onto one. The trailer for the next Star Wars film has literally, it's not even a trailer, it's like a preview teaser thing, um, has just dropped where it's gonna be the end of a saga, which means it's gonna be the end of this saga and there'll be another three in like five years time no doubt so I paid five pound they did have a bb8 but he was missing a uh, part of the front they were a ten pound for the pair or five pound each so i had just the one that was working i picked these up first of all these are from jason i paid a pound a piece these are some retro pokemon bits so yeah they're just going in my personal collection so we have a blastoise fairly decent condition paid a pound a piece and we have a pikachu as well and then we have some of the, these are Tomy ones. These are the Tomy ones. These were part of the Battle Blasters, I think. So paid a pound a piece. And also sorted Jason out with a penny sleeve and a top loader for the Charizard that he got a few weeks back. So at least when he sells it, he can package it properly. NES controller, one pound. Now the guy who I bought this off had some old Game Boy games. Well, one or two old Game Boy games. It was just like Pokemon Yellow that I saw. Uh, one of the other guys, Ben, picked it up for two quid, as well as a whole bag of, uh, not He-Man, what's the other one? Uh, the, the the Tiger People. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, the Tiger People. A whole bag of them for 25 For myself, for 75p, we have a Sega Superstar on the PS2. And again, for 75p, we have Daxter on the PSP. So paid £20 for a lot from another collector. He had like a whole heap, he must have well over a thousand games. A uh, retail price of a lot. Um, yeah, so picked up this, it's just an empty box, but the box is in really good condition. I picked up the box only for this last year as a freebie from Ben. So I've now got the game for this. And we also have GTA, which was supposed to be six pound but basically got it for a fiver so again i've got a box only of this that means i've now got this complete in the collection as well we are almost there i promise right we have a game boy advance but it's missing the back however it looks nice and clean inside pay 10 pound and it also comes with super mario advance so it looks to be fine i'm just going to double check it and then it's just going to go in a pile for reshelling I might get a higher end shell and we'll do a video on that soon. Last pickups from this car boot is a load of PSP games where I paid a pound a piece. 
So we have Lemmings, Rocky Balboa, Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, NFL Street 2 Unleashed, Championship Manager 2006, Smackdown vs. Raw 2007, Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie, and Twisted Metal. Now the chances are I probably missed out on a few decent titles because I had not been one of the first people to this particular van. So, pound each, bulking out the PSP collection. And yesterday I spoke about picking up two point blank uh, games for the PS1. These are them. And as you can see, they are absolutely pristine. You would have gotten the right way up. So, yeah, they, they are so... A tiny bit of play on the manual, as I said, is like a crease down here. But apart from that, I honestly, as I said, I completely forgot Point Blank existed. And I was speaking to someone else, uh, like who's not a, a gamer at all, but he's, he's a few years older than me. I said, do you remember Point Blank? He's like, no, what's that? He's like, well, it's sort of like Super Mario for the PS1, but you use a gun. And then he said, no, I don't know what you're talking about. So then he Googled it and he's like, oh yeah, I remember that. So it's such a forgotten game. And why it hasn't been, I don't know, was it brought back for PS4 on the move and stuff? I've got absolutely no idea. But that is it. That is the whole of this car boot done. So yeah, there's a few bits, well, a lot of bits to keep. Um, one or two bits to sell, which basically covers my, my entry fee and maybe a, a little bit more on top of that. But you can't win them all. Uh, as I say, got there a bit late. It was freezing as well. It was like zero degrees when I woke up and it was six degrees when I left. So left the car boot to come back home. So yeah, it, um, it was a...